Hello and welcome to Landau. Sorry. <laughs> I've, I've forgotten how good it is to work with Matt. The subtle messages. He was still filming, but his left hand went. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and, that, and that means it's. <laughs> <laughs> I, for, I forgot all this subtlety, Matt. Yeah. Thing is, he'll do that. You'll be, like, you'll be like 120 sideways, and you'll see him going. <laughs> what happens that when it's that? Mean, that means nah. <laughs> right, okay. here we go. Hello, and welcome to Landau Laps. In this episode, Resto Mod Royalty. In the blue corner, the Tuttle SCRS. In the blue corner, the Alphaholics GTAR. More power, more weight, less weight, arguably more beauty. Nice. Oh. Okay, this is Lando Laps Resto Mods. Both of those cars together weigh less than the Mercedes. These two coming in now. The one at the back's really special. It's the first all carbon bodied Alphaholics GTAR. It's basically some carbon fiber and an engine with that very distinctive metallic crank up sound. Don't you think, if you look at those two cars now, one's half a million quid, one's 300 grand. Pan over there now and have a look. Would they want those caravans in the background? Look at the caravans. Well, Landau gives you those luxury backgrounds. Landau gives you the marketing look. Come on, boys. Yes. Where do you get them from, Chris? Anyone that watches the podcast knows either Chris Cooper's sons. They get talked about in the podcast a lot. They are very able young men. But can you imagine being 20, 20, 21 years old? been given a 300 grand Porsche and told to manoeuvre it round. It's a tough gig. It does feel like a bit of sport for us, though. It's quite cruel, isn't it? Don't look. Go on, look, look, look at the caravans instead. There you go, it's a caravan. Not a young man trying to move a car around. It's only worth half a million pounds. At that age, I wouldn't do that. I would absolutely... Are we good for stats now, do you think? Uh, yep. It's the Resto Mods. Uh, we're just kind of figuring out the stats because they're so vague and because they're kind of old cars but renewed. No one really knows what they are. So we're just calling up the manufacturers now to double check. And action. Let the scrap begin. Good? Okay. Right. Can I, I'm going to get you smoothed out now. Yep. Good luck. The problem with this now is I can't stop taking photographs of the cars in this light because there's a, there's a witching hour. I mean, I'm, a, I'm an average photographer at best, but look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Got a bit of flair. Look at the Alfa Romeo wheel in that light. That's what marks me as a car nerd. I'd rather look at that than any form of adult entertainment. That, for me, is just the best. Oh. Okay, the numbers, they're dropping down now. Of course, because these cars are resto mods, there are no official manufacturer claims. But these are the important ones. 320 horsepower for the Porsche, 240 for the Alpha, but it's so much lighter at just 800 compared to the Porsche's slightly porky 1150 kilograms. Can the Porsche's extra traction help it out around Landau? The Alphaholics GTAR, unquestionably the most desirable car in this group. It's just stunning. Now this isn't just any old Alphaholics. This is a GTAR, but it's probably nearer a 300 in terms of its power to weight ratio. Full carbon body, the most 
most stunning interior lent to me by a friend. I don't want to tell you how much it's worth. It's a lot of money. It is just sensational. But so light, it almost has no traction in the wet. Which means it's an absolute hoot to drive. Be very careful. What a thing of joy. Another couple of mil of throttle and suddenly it's fully sideways. There it goes, there it goes. Listen to that engine. What a thing. Fully, fully gorgeous motor car. There you go, there you go. That's what we want to see, isn't it? We want to see more of that stuff. Do you know what? There's a point at which cars become so light in the wet, they're quite tricky. This is stunning, but I almost want a steel body one in this weather. Um, easily the most desirable car here. I just think that nothing comes close. It's just an object of pure and utter joy and also just makes you grin like an idiot around here. Gorgeous. So I don't think this is fair at all because we've got a very lightweight Alpha that's a bit light on traction. Now we've got a Porsche which has got traction. It's, it's missing lots of other things, but it has got traction. So I think um, this might be a bit of an unfair battle, but we'll give it a go. He's also got LEDs on the rear lights, which is absolutely horrific. Tuttle, get rid of those. They should be light bulbs. They're chav. What's this? It's wet. I can't get anything to stick out. I've seen you work in wet conditions, Ren. Your fingers, your fingers can get anywhere in any conditions. Get some black tack on top of that. Ren, this man here, right? He's done about 30 years of Top Gear, okay? If he, even when he writes his story, we're all, he knows it all. He's, the skeletons he's got in his cupboard about us, he knows it all. He's told me all about Paddy McGinnis' and everything, haven't you? Beautiful. I don't know if we can use that bit, <laughs> I don't know. Desperately fighting the light now. It is fading fast. We've got one more lap to do to get all the shots. Right, Chris, come on. Come on, Sam. Tuttle SCRS. It's got a traction advantage, quite obviously. I think it's going to go quite well. It's a fast car, this. Beautiful as well. Say they were beautiful a lot around resto mods, don't you? But it is dainty and small, but it feels massive after the Alpha. <laughs> Much longer gear than the Alpha. We've got what, 320 horsepower? We've got loads of torque though. About 280 foot pounds of torque, so it really is torquey beast. Go up a gear. So we can use that traction. I mean, it really just sticks. Turn in's good. Well, this is much faster than I thought it would be. This is fast car. Seriously fast car, actually. I know they make a thing called 911K, but don't underestimate these. The 3.8 litre 993 engine. Massive traction wide open there, and the Alpha, I was just feathering it. Cool. I reckon that's quite quick. Let the scrap begin. Okay, here we go. 
fair on the alcoholics because the weather just didn't suit it at all it's wet so light I mean they're the two most desirable cars here aren't they look at them aren't they just beautiful don't they embody everything you want about a car they're smaller and lighter than modern cars they give you more feedback although this feels like a Mondeo after that and that's so raw that little thing I almost don't want to call a winner but the Porsche traction is just shows in every corner that is beautiful though they're both gorgeous <laughs> I've just realised that Landau Laps isn't about laps, it's about the crack. And I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Thank you, everyone. Quite a long day, but um, I really appreciate all the help. Um, hopefully the first of many. Yeah. So thank you, everyone, for your support. I am absolutely <laughs> I have not done that in a year. I haven't worked like that in a, in a car in a year, and I'm knackered. Embarrassing, really. That was Landau Laps. Please like and subscribe. And rest assured, there's plenty more coming from collecting cars.